Scottish Power Renewables is part of the Iberdrola Group, a world leader in clean energy with an installed capacity of over 28,000 megawatts. We are helping to drive the group's ambition of being the utility of the future and are investing heavily in offshore wind power as one of the key drivers of growth. Our focus is on the United Kingdom, US, Germany and France. In the UK, Scottish Power Renewables is transforming the East Anglia region into a world leader in offshore wind energy. With four wind farms planned off the coast of Suffolk, the combined capacity could generate over 3.5 gigawatts of clean renewable energy and the potential to power the equivalent of around 3 million homes. East Anglia One was the first of these projects to enter construction in April 2017 and when complete in 2020, will be one of the largest offshore wind farms in the world. With an investment of around £2.5 billion and a commitment to deliver at least 50% UK content across the lifetime of the project, East Anglia One is at the forefront of the UK's transition to low carbon generation. East Anglia One will see 102 direct drive Siemens wind turbines installed in the Southern North Sea, approximately 30 miles off the coast. Each turbine is capable of generating 7 megawatts of electricity, has a rotor diameter of 154 metres and a tip height of 167 metres that's taller than the Blackpool Tower. Then the cells are manufactured in Cuxhaven in Germany and the blades are manufactured at Siemens' new facility in Hull. All of the turbine components will be delivered to Peel Ports, Great Yarmouth, where they are marshalled and prepared for installation. The turbines will be installed on jackets attached to the seabed using piles. The three-legged steel jacket structures will stand over 65 metres tall and weigh more than 845 tonnes. The piles are being manufactured in China and the jackets at Lamprel in Sharjah and Jebel Ali, Dubai, Navantia Windar in Fene, northern Spain and Harland and & Wolf in Belfast, Northern Ireland. The jackets will be marshalled at the BOW terminal in Vlissingen in the Netherlands. 155 kilometres of inter-array cables will collect the energy from the turbines, transporting it to an offshore substation. In an industry first, East Anglia One will be the first project to utilise 66 kilovolt cables on a commercial scale. From here, 85 kilometres of cable deliver the power to shore at Bordsey. Connecting to the grid at Bramford, 37 kilometres of cables will be installed underground to protect the visual landscape. We're also installing cable ducts, which will enable us to connect a future project along the same route with minimal disruption. During the planning stages, two years of detailed ecological surveys were completed, including one of the largest archaeological digs ever seen in southeast England. Up to 400 archaeologists worked along the onshore cable route to ensure that Suffolk's cultural history was preserved for future generations. Up to 3,000 jobs will be sustained during construction, with installation activities taking place from Peel Ports Great Yarmouth BOW Terminal in Vlissingen and our new operations and maintenance base at ABP Lowestoft. We are committed to inspiring the future generation of engineers and scientists to work in the offshore wind industry. During 2018, we're supporting four master's scholarship places at the University of East Anglia through the Scottish Power Foundation, and we are working with our major suppliers to implement skills plans to support the local workforce. Onshore construction commenced in early 2017 with preparations for the onshore cable installation and substation construction. In spring 2018, the installation of the offshore foundations will commence. During the summer of 2018, we'll install the offshore substation and begin installation of the offshore export cable. In the summer of 2019, we'll start installing the first wind turbines along with the inter-array cables. The first power from the turbines is expected later that year. In 2020, 
East Anglia One will be fully operational, providing renewable energy for nearly 600,000 homes. That's the equivalent of the majority of homes in Norfolk and Suffolk. Committed to sustainable value creation, Scottish Power Renewables will continue to build on this platform and drive forward renewables through innovation and technology development, which will create more opportunities, jobs and skills for the next generation. We are the utility of the future.